basic guard passes. These aren't complicated, they're very basic. You've got to learn things like this before you go on the more complex skills. And this is a good basic skill. So let's work on, I like going to this side, so I'll get over here a bit. Uh, if we're fighting here, and he's, you know, he's, he's a good guard fighter, and I might have propped his guard open, but he's got an open guard here. Now, I'm controlling with the, the, the feet and my hand on his knees. And I'm steering, okay? I'm steering. So what I want to do, I want to steer one side down, just like we did before, but we were passing this and crossing over, which works well, but this time, I'm just going to pin... I'm just going to pin his knee, his upper leg, to the mat with my upper leg, just like this. I'm going to trap it here. So when we're fighting here, and I'll have Derek show this. He's a lot more ag you know, agile than me, but I'll show you the basics here. Pin it here and step across. And when I step across, everybody come here and look at my feet my knees. When I do this, I'm on my, on my toe on the mat. I'm not just dragging. And when I do it, I pin it. My knee is pinned on the mat, and I'm trapping him like this. And I want to be here. And I want to just, if I'm up here like this, he can get out and do something else to fight me. I want to stay as low as I can. I'm here. And I'm down here, it's not here. I'm going to trap his foot and my foot. It's just tying up. You know what I'm trying to do? It. It's not fancy. It's tying up there. Now, from this point, I've got his whole left, his whole right side trap. Now I can start working around to control him. Pass through. Okay. It's not fancy, it's quite basic. Probably one of the most basic guard passes that we do. But it does have a high ratio of success. Okay, so in, a lot of times the basics do have high ratio of success. So that's what we want to do. So let's look at that again. So, Derek's steering mine. Okay, he tra traps one down. See how he traps it? Now, watch what he You can, he, Derek has options here. But right now we want to pass that guard. Look how he traps. Now, the whole in this case, the left side is just stuck on the mat. He's still got on there. Now, Derek could kick back, maybe swing back and catch back and do it, do it, or just do like I just climb across, climb across him and catch him. Okay. Now, at this point, once you trap that, we want to, to trap other body parts too. I want to kind of tie him up in as much of a knot as I can. So do that and start do the back trap here. Now, watch this. Now, from here, what Derek is doing, he has things he might. Again, take your preference. Some guys like to go high and hook under the neck and control that. And that's a good solid control point, controlling his head, okay? Some guys like to trap low and trap in between the leg or over the leg and just trap there, okay? And if you're gonna do that, you grab a hold of something, okay? Get the belt, get the gi in any way, grab something tight, and there's your anchor to grab onto. See that? Okay, and he stays, again, he stays low. And now he just passes over and he shifts up onto the man. Okay, let's do the one where you trap the head first. So when he does this, he comes. Now, underhook the head and trap. And see how I pull the head in? Take control of it. Don't just let him stay, be stable. Pull him in and have that head or your arm under his head to keep him from bridging and turning. I don't want him to shrimp into me. Okay? And at this point, now you can just do your guard pass. Shift over and into your pit. It's very basic stuff. Again, these real basic skills do have a high ratio of success. You can even catch good guys who expect them. Okay. You might point out the almond element there. Oh yeah, yeah. let's point that out. Go ahead. Let's mention it. So there's also this. Uh, a little pit thing we learned from Mike Hallman, who is really good at this. We. It's especially good when they're sitting there and trying to play with feet and hips. And then catch right there, and then just bring your shin down right there. And that'd be nice to doing it on his calf. Hallman would usually bring it right down above your ankle. And there's a there's a leg submission. It's pretty nasty. And if you have a hold of the foot while you're doing it, you get a toe hold while you're doing it. So. Yeah. Just something you know, to do on your way through. You want them to comply with you. And sometimes pain is the only way to make them comply. You know, pain compliance really does work. Show that, show that with that. Don't hurt them. But, you know, show how you do that. Okay. Okay. It's a So I'm back through here. He's playing feet on hips. Okay. So I'm going to catch. And I'm not trying to shove it out of the way. Okay. I'm just catching a hold of it. And then you loop through. So you're rotating inside with your knee and then out. 
can either put your pressure on it or just hold it and pull his toe up. And even if that doesn't work, you've got the knee pin you can pass the guard. So that's not part of the basic move, but it is a nice little aside that really does kind of go in through there. Pressure. And he's continually popping his knee back in. I can just come right back through to this move. As soon as I get that down, he's going to start trying to pry this back in. And that's when I come down and I'm going to put down with my other foot. Right. So, in, in, especially, well, in standing work too, but certainly in ground work, there are a lot of small little, it's like watching two boxers who are good in fighters. You know, they're, they're good at fighting in close. Well, this is the infighting of what we do in judo, jiu-jitsu, and samba. This, this is infighting here. And there are a lot of little things, if you, the more practice you have in these skills and working on them a lot, and a lot drilling and open ground door and stuff, you're going to pick these things up where you get that sense of that feel. It just takes a lot of experience and training. So what he's talking about here, if like one doesn't work, you shift back, try something else that doesn't work, you shift back up and do another gear. You have a lot of the options here if you know how to manipulate his body. Because again, we always say this, everything is a handle. Especially when he's wearing a jacket and a belt and all that stuff, we got a lot of handles to work with. Okay? One more time on the basic and then we'll let it practice. Okay? So just pin the knee, come across, trap it, see how he crossed over there. Swing over this. Nothing fit. If you want to do a kickback, that's fine. But you just want to get past his legs. That's all we want to do is just get past the legs. I do it. Swing back, that's, that's fine too. Any of that stuff works, okay?